factors you have to take into what's going on, you know, both yeah. your, your disadvantage and your offstage presence. So Rosalina just kind of shuts a lot of that down, and she's going to run into a lot of the same problems. She runs into in singles. She racks up damage really well, but it's going to have a hard time uh, securing the stock. And Kuro doesn't care about anything I said. It's a triple bouncing fish to, to start <laughs> the game. But. Well, it's interesting, too, because we're seeing the buzz actually opt, as you were talking about Koopa, like opt for the Rosa. And he's been playing a couple different uh, DLC characters today, including Bayonetta and Cloud and Double. So he's feeling confident, apparently, with his Rosalina. I mean, talk about, though, Light and uh, DeBuzz played recently at a weekly, and the yeah. set count went 1 2 DeBuzz. So Light took a set off DeBuzz for the first time in New England. Uh, Taking socks, too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We'll be seeing you. We're gonna that, was, that was, that oh. was. I'm going to need an Amber Alert. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? This could be a sock, too. Oh, no. Missing the Fairfoot Soul. Yeah, but DeBuzz was forced to use his up B right there without, uh, you know, risk of losing that sock there. But Light playing uh, lights out, as I can fill my quota for using that, uh, <laughs> that joke. Dude, so. he took he took three stocks in under uh, a minute against DeBuzz and Dark Wizzy, two very formidable opponents, to say the least. Yeah. And Wizzy, like... Pretty good at teams in his own right. I know like a lot of the regionals in our areas, uh, he's usually placing in the end, at the end of brackets in those. So, I mean, I always feel like for New England, Kool Aid and Maddie G is what we're kind of used to for, yep. for that combination. But one of the great things about that was we'd see Kool Aid always kind of sit in the back a little bit and let Maddie be aggressive, get the kills while he would be an amazing support. And when you have an aggressive person like Light to fill yep. in the void that is Maddie G, you know it's going to be destruction. Yeah, the play styles definitely make sense and line up. But like we said before, Fox is pretty controversial as a character in doubles. Like, there's another room that he likes follow up all the combos and stuff that he's used to getting and well one thing I like about Fox and doubles actually is when he's off stage his teammate can save him Cooley is yeah. so good at saving especially the quickness of Sheik yeah there's like pro there's issues with Fox that are solved with teams but there's also a whole other can of worms that get open because right. exactly. like I said it's it's a really hectic environment and Fox isn't lacking like a lot in regards to the survivability but he can kill you if you're not careful Stark was using Kool-Aid as a blunt weapon to try to you know take that stock yeah, it was good defense from Doug Wizzy. I mean, you gotta be aware. Like that Mario back air is like, one, or back throw is one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, especially in teams like Whoa. I said, Scoop. as the alley to the oop will connect and take that stock from light. So, Down even in regards to socks, but uh, gotta be a little bit careful here. Oh, cool it, man. Wow. Yeah, that was a great angle for the blue team there. Cool it, unable to respond. And look at this, the blue team just chipping back. The oh no, oh no. Cool it's gotta get out there. The cape oh, though, the double goodness. edge guard from the blue team. They'll definitely take that drop stock. Uh, yeah. Oh, he took. Oh wait. Oh, ooh, wait. See now that's interesting because the buzz is uh, fighting for the number one player in the world slot right now, but the two v one is also super good. So yeah, right. <laughs> this could be fine. Yeah, this is a very it's a manageable two v one for Kool Aid if he's able to get the right read on Rosa, but yeah. it's gonna be hard to get through both Luma and Mario just kind of looming there. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how the reversal of that just like, totally changed the shift of everything. That one edge guard on Light, hopefully it looking to prove mighty costly if Kool Aid can. Uh, you know, unless Kool-Aid has something to say about that. It, it's crazy, too, because the green team... Oh, oh never mind, mind, never mind. You know, the day <laughs> one, the 3DS right there. We'll be seeing you. Uh, you know, blue team... Yeah, Dark Wizard, you see them smiling because they were at such a deficit right in the beginning. Watch this. Air dodge read. Oh, wait, wait, wait not yet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Charges needles a little bit. Hold, hold, hold. Reads the okay. jump in Goodbye. and gets the air dodge Easy, and yeah. see you later. Dark Wizzy will hit that uh, in days of the week that end in day, and that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every time, crazy dude. Crazy edge guard <gasps> on light. Yeah, that was perfect. To the cape? Dude, you know what was great is that, oh, he didn't save him right there. I feel like if DeBuzz saved him too right there, that would have been the cherry on top, but they didn't need it, so. Yeah. So the green team, they're going to take it back to Smashville, and it's, your green team, it's tough to not feel deflated because, like, you were off to such a strong lead, and they came back and won. How are you supposed to win if you don't get a strong yeah. lead like that again? Especially, you know? like, they got those two stocks, like, relatively early to start the game. So it was the momentum was very, like, strongly in their favor, but that's just kind of the beauty about, you know, Rosa and Mario. They're both kind of like walking fortresses. Yep. You know, no, no lead is safe against either of these characters. For sure. Yeah, you're looking at them, they're holding the center stage so well already. I feel like Dark, Wizzy, and the Buzz have kind of gotten more or less a handle on how the green team wants to do their uh, maneuvers to control center stage. Now they're just holding it with no problem at all. Look, there goes one Luma. Doesn't really matter too much at all, but they're still doing a very good job making sure that they have positioning that they need. Yeah, they've been able to, like, you know, close the, the gaps a little bit. You know, DeBuzz and, uh, and Wizzy have been trading places in disadvantage. Look at it right now. They have some pretty good saves for the Ching. That forward smash is going to do a good uh -oh. job just kind of clearing out space. Ooh, nice. Oh. Ooh, that was a that was a three-piece combo, actually. He's got the Luma involved, too. We'll be seeing you. That was really nice, dude. And 
And the green team has been missing little conversions like that as well. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, White's yeah. missed a few up air or up airs off a of throw, so those things really add up. But there you go. Keep it. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, Good. simple and clean. Oh, man. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> oh, and another one. Nope, that not going to get the job. crazy. Yeah, especially because Rosa doesn't, like, lack a lot in regards. She doesn't have go. a lot in regards to weight, so. But that'll get the job done. Are you serious? <laughs> he just charged that the whole time? <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. He had time to do that. Rosa was still on the Halo platform, yeah. so. You know, Light's definitely the type of player to do it, too. <laughs> but yeah, right? It seemed like too much matters so far. Looking at Light doing a good job, Is buying he... some time for Kulet to come Ooh. down. Ooh, the umpire going to do some good damage on Wizzy. And again, just going to opt to let Rosa cover to the stage for free, and the up smash will take the stock. Ah, okay. Light swing immediately. The buzz with a well-timed air dodge. Uh, Dark Wizzy get in the mix a little bit, but that's all right. Sometimes you're gonna hit your partner. Like you just gotta accept it. The worst thing you can do is let that affect your uh, synergy and your mentality. Like playing forward. It really do be like that sometimes, man. Mm -hmm. like, it do. It just happens. Oh. Ooh, the forward smash from Mario, man. That move just looks like it hurts. It, it does hurt. Like, Spawning <laughs> fire out the ether. <laughs> you ever like put your hand on the stove when you think it's like still hot? You ever watch Home Alone? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Course, when he grabs when he grabs the handle. Is that oh. sub or dumb? Yeah. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Oh I'm don't do that to you. don't do that to Home Alone, would you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. So speaking of Home Alone, uh, it's just looking bad. That's all I got. <laughs> nice. You ruined my home. You ruined my Home Alone joke. Cause I'm mad about it. Cause when when Joe Pesci grabs the the handle to the McAllister house right. and it burns his hand, it leaves an M on his hand like Mario, dude. I was, leading, oh. I was leading up to it. I had Home Alone knowledge. I had Smash knowledge. I was really like in my wheelhouse there. How many people do you guess put down their commentary resume? Me. <laughs> D1, one, home one. Alone knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So, so Wizzy sitting at a pretty unfavorable position right now as we again just gonna go for the back throw open the light will be there. The first match will get it done. Then we got a two v one coming out or like a two and a half yeah. or a two versus a one and a half. Yeah, yeah. But this time they won't have uh, the ability to get that off stage edge guard with Dark Wizzy because Dark Wizzy is out of the picture. Dude, one thing I've learned about DeBuzz though, because I've been watching him more, especially since Light has been going out and playing in New York, so I've been watching DeBuzz a lot. I never, literally never count him out of a set. Like, he is so clutch, like, it just doesn't matter. But here, it might matter, because <laughs> this is going to be a tricky one. Ooh, wow. Yeah, between a Sheik and a hard place. That was a really a spot smart. time? Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Blondes have more fun, man. Nice, oh. good run up. Uh, yeah. okay. All right. Okay. That was nice. That was nice. Yeah, he committed to that hard option. Just kind of leaving the door open for Kool Aid to punish that. You see, he goes for the back throw. Light kind of disrupts him with the side B. Exactly. That's the thing I love about Light. Like, we talked about how Fox, you know, a little bit of a controversial character in doubles. You know, very, you know, very black and white, basically. Like, comes down to, like, he's either amazing the situation or not that good. But Light, he's so creative and his reaction time is so good. He makes things work out more often than not, I feel like. So, we have Light some props there playing this character really, really well in dubs, making it work. But. Ooh. Dude, oh, Wizzy? Yeah. Dude, Wizzy? <laughs> I love watching Wizzy play. Yeah, man. Wizzy's great, man. Mm -hmm. Like, just seeing the youth that this, uh, you know, Smash brings in, it's quite wonderful. I wish the I was youth? as good at video games when I was, like, 16, too. And I wish I was ever good at video games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you, you go into the competitive scene, and, like, yeah. there's just these amazing, godlike, talented individuals. It just makes you wonder, man. When I was 16, I actually got withdrawal sickness because my mom took away my GameCube for a week. <laughs> I, believe I got, it, like, dude. the shakes. Like, I couldn't move. It was, it was bad, dude. Dude, when I uh, when I had my first GameCube, like my parents would always like threaten to take it away, and like I remember having my first first RPG, dude. It sucks. Which RPG? I had a uh, Tales of Symphonia. Great game. Ooh, great game. That's actually a great game. But speaking of great games, Game Three. There you go, Koopa. Yeah, nice. Good <laughs> job. Yeah, he did it right thank this you. time. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, I didn't mess it up. That, that is how Koopa. you seamlessly transition into something. <laughs> <laughs> he did the thing. Uh, my, my scenes are all over the place. Battlefield, definitely. I think everybody like kind of digs this stage. Yeah, I, I think for I think for light it's gonna add a lot more in regards to you know frame traps on the platforms. Yeah. Uh, oh, again, this uh, is the blue team's counter picks. I'm not really sure what they're looking for. They're probably just looking to get out of this advantage with having a platform this coverage. But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be weird. For the buzz, you can just like spam those up airs pretty freely if someone's on that platform. Doesn't put him too much at risk. Yet he gets to apply a lot of pressure. Oh yeah. It's interesting too because Battlefield's a smaller stage, and I feel like the team with like the more mobility does a little better here, like traditionally. But I don't know. It's interesting. Oh, <laughs> you could put your mobility that. Yeah, exactly. That's what he's saying. Uh, the buzz doing a good job there, cleaning out the first stock. See, blue team keep this momentum going. Yeah, it's interesting because usually the way that the, the team's meta has you know been shifted, a character like Rosa is someone that's kind of relatively uncommon. It's probably why I've seen the, you've seen the buzz play like a plethora of different characters today, just kind of feel it out. 
Yeah, but you know, so far it's been getting the job done. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Kind of like Again? that. Alley you, I like it, man. That was yeah. sick. Beautiful. Some, yeah, Jackie Moon is definitely feeling the alley oop. Right you see, there. you see lights, disrespectful lasers right there. <laughs> Get off that platform. But in teams, that's one on one. You wait for your partner if you die at the same time. It's just way better. You both have invincibility. The chance of you getting hit is much it's better. It's like girls going to the bathroom together. Yeah, you, go, you, you got to do it together. together. Yeah, traveling packs. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's like wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It's again, just a lot of the same. Really, just gonna kind of sit back, you know, feel out the action, see how to approach. Yeah, one of the things I do want to point out is that uh, a lot of people have been wondering, like, hey, is Cloud banned at this tournament? Cloud is not banned at this tournament, but we also just don't really stack up the clouds like that. So, yeah. like, you see, at the top bit we have, it's like, wow, where are they at? No over, no overcast. Yeah. Uh, no yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. Maybe you know, maybe a local like New England tournament. Yeah, but since we've invited so many wonderful players that do not play Cloud here, oh, Ooh, up there and right there, stairway to death. Dude, yeah. I think we had a harmony going there. That was good. I think we had it a couple <laughs> times, man. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, all we need, we just need one more to complete the barbershop quartet. So <laughs> come on, Koopa. <laughs> I was waiting, man. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> so <laughs> again, just a lot of this, so the buzz on that last stock here. And I believe we're in best of five territory at this point. Yeah. Oh, that's winter finals, Koopa. For sure. If, I don't it's, know, if man. it's not best of five now, when would it be best of five? I mean, uh, hey, if it's so house of 3K. Oh, yeah, you're, finals. Right, you're right. You're right. We are on the right stream for uh, best of three throughout the tournament. So. <laughs> <laughs> not in my region. So you guys do it. Yeah. No, no, no way, man. We got time, though. Yeah. You guys are a huge We ain't got nothing but time. Can't do it, yeah. All right, so again, just a lot of running around right now. Wizzy going again for the jump cancel up smash to catch that landing for Kool-Aid. What a scary situation for White. Ooh. Wow! Kool-Aid getting the vantage kill, though, and the buzz at the ledge, but picks the right option, makes his way back off, and puts Light in a really bad position. Nice. Oh, that was a good coverage there from Wizzy, just being able to pick up the, the loose pieces from the buzz's dash attack. Yeah, I always love seeing the Teams 101. If you see your partner get hit by the opponent, make sure you take the time to punch them for doing that. Yeah. Just like that. Hey, as you said it, Flambo, Woo! so Light running to do it. But stocks are even again. Blue team though had a tiny bit of a deficit, especially with the buzz off stage. It's gonna be bad. Dark Wizzy there though with the defense. But Kool Aid picking up straight hits too. This is crazy, man. This is yeah, anyone's game really. Yeah, we didn't look like he was gonna go out there to try to help the buzz, but um, he didn't really wasn't in any distress from anything. That defense from the buzz was so good because you know Light's gonna hit those tactic chases, tech chases all the time. And uh, the buzz though set up the Luma wall really well. That was so smart from Light angling the fire box to get rid of Luma. Yep. Just you know, so Dude, to deal his with angles are stupid. <laughs> He's stupid. Would you say they're a cute angle? In a good way, in a good way. Oh, God. That one wasn't. Oh, Wizzy! Wait? Wizzy would have tied it up right there, but Green Team in a terrible position. He's not trying to stall for a little bit. When he comes down that back air, sending him so far off to the right last zone, but he's living. Dude, Shout out to Battlefield. That's the other thing is that Rosalina is so floaty, it takes him forever to get oh. back to the stage, so yeah. Green Team able to 2v1 there. Take it down. Yes. So this is still anyone's game right yeah. now, man. Rosalina is no secret to early, uh, you know, to Ooh. Jane kills. Wow. Again, that's exactly what you were talking about. You don't want to go for, like, uh, laggy uh, team options in the 2v1. Ooh. Oh, no. That could be disastrous, but Light going to be able to survive. Shout out to those sheep nerfs. Yeah, dude, <laughs> right? Christ. All right. The buzz playing this, like, really well, though. Can't complain at all how, the way the buzz is playing it. Oh, the okay. forward smash for Kool-Aid again? That's that, two games in a row that they closed out that way. That's crazy. So the rubber game is going to go to Team New England. We yeah, yeah. Plays here for the 2v1. Good job there from Light just to kind of get out of dodge and use the retreating option. And Kool-Aid again yeah. getting some good mileage out of that smash attack in 2v1 situations. Yeah, he's one of those cheeks that's not afraid to pull the trigger in smash attacks. Uh, he likes forward smash and down smash, but up. Oh, my. Why are they showing this one again? <laughs> I don't need to live through that again. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of dig it. You like it? I yeah. actually really like the way the Buzz was playing that 2v1, though. You saw him like use uh, Rosalina's Nair a lot to kind of force one person off stage, and he kept giving himself multiple 1v1 situations. It was just unfortunate that for that last one, that forward smash from Kool-Aid was enough to kind of knock him out yep. of there, but he was playing it immaculately. If you remember early on, too, he hit a down smash on Light that almost KO'd, yeah, too. Yeah. That, was a, that was a great call out from the Buzz, but you know, unfortunately for the New York team, did not work out for them, but we are going to continue playing some Smash 4 doubles here, and it's going to be Dreamland. Where the dreams go to die. Yeah, that's true, actually. You know, we got a new Kirby game on the horizon. So, oh, it looks uh, you so know. good. I just want to give it a hug. Like, real talk. That's how I felt about a uh, Epic Yarn. I was like, what game is he about to say? <laughs> <laughs> Xenoblades 2. <laughs> like, <laughs> GTA. Wait, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so interesting choice here to go to um, another dry flat stage, but with the uh, slightly... Uh, different platform layout. Yeah. Kind of curious what the, the blue team's looking for here. It's interesting, man. I yeah, definitely want those those vertical kills for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess like the smaller, uh, just the smaller stage in general is going to make it a lot easier to keep uh, Fox and Sheik confined. And also, to, uh, I've seen some crazy stuff happen on that top platform at Greenland because you are a little bit higher into the blast zone. So. Yeah. Also, it's interesting. Like, oh my goodness, <laughs> Ali Oop. This team is this team is Team Ali Oop. Like between the setups, it, both players are so good with the reactions and yeah. awareness and doubles. Wow, nice back row decision right there. <laughs> Kool Aid and Light are playing NBA Jam. Yeah, they really are. They're on fire, dude. Disgusting. Yeah. In the shoes. It's in the shoes. Kool Aid as as a setter and Light as a wing spiker. Like just <laughs> yeah. passes it up and he slams it down. Disgusting. It's yeah. turbo in that game, right? It's not juice. It's turbo, right? <laughs> I, think I, so. I think so, yeah. That's what it is? Turbo? I don't know, man. I know the Lakers are looking for some front court help, so uh, maybe Kool Aid might have to. Light 2. Talking about not being afraid to pull the trigger on smash attacks, Light 100% that player as well, so. Wow. I like the idea for Kool Aid. He was helping Light recover, but. Yeah, I don't really think he needed it, honestly. It's, uh, well, yeah. I mean, oh, now he does. I mean, it's Koopa. I'm saying. Sorry. It's Fox <laughs> off stage against the Buzz. It was before that. The Buzz. He... Okay, you know what? I'm out. Yeah, you <laughs> Late? I retire. I'm going to go play basketball. Just bouncing fish away from Kool-Aid right there. Does not want to get caught by it. That's definitely what the blue team is thinking. Like, wow. Sickly stocks early, like, off the top. Mario up B is scary, too, but obviously Rosalina and Luma uh, up there going to be the main uh, culprit for this blue team. Okay, falling there. Man, it's the push start. Quizzy off stage. And wow, they just switch characters. They, like they high-fived <laughs> on the way, too, I think. Like, while they were right by each other, <laughs> slapping five, man. Woo! Dude, this team's cooking right now. Yeah, they're, they're feeling it right now. Kool-Aid gets <laughs> Oh my goodness. Bouncing fish back to back the double. Crazy. Let me get two fish. One fish, two fish. Kool-Aid's got three stars, man. Just gonna uh -oh. throw the flood, push him off a little bit more. Ooh, good mix up on that uh up B right there. The up smash will finally take it. Kool-Aid gonna drop that first stock. Dude, do you ever think Rosalina has like scoliosis? <laughs> like the way she does that double smash, really? <laughs> Can you get scoliosis in space? <laughs> I love no gravity. Oh, man. That's actually an amazing question. <laughs> <laughs> like, wasn't it that guy that spent a year in space and he came back, he was like a foot taller? I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Alien space. <baby>. Anyway. <laughs> As someone with scoliosis, I was just wondering. Who's he going to hit the stars there with that up smash again? So blue team both on their last stocks and fighting for their winner brackets lives right here trying to push it to game five. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one, but... Yeah. Like I said, man, I've seen crazier things happen. Like, it's team. Like what? Uh, what have you seen? Uh, Bigfoot. And, uh, <laughs> Thor 2. Anyway. Anyway. Pretty good movie. It's debatable, regardless. That's a tip. Oh, wait, that's not Ragnarok, is it? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. that one, though, Natalie Portman has a sick ringtone in that movie. <laughs> yeah, Remember yeah, that? Right. That song is a oh, banger. Oh, that air dodge from Wizzy is going to <laughs> get. Speaking of bangers. Yep. That's, that's it. Who, oh, oh, we got everyone, dude. He's got the yeah, boots yeah. flicking around here. Like, hey, man, I got to give, like, uh, Green Team there. They lost that game one when they had no business losing that game one after the performance that Light put on. Hold on, yeah. hold on. let's enjoy the replays. Hold on, because I love this technology. Yeah, see, that bad air dodge from Wizzy, probably trying to avoid a frame trap on a platform. And then, again, <laughs> straight hit from Kool-Aid is going to lead into another up smash. That's the thing. Light will, like, it, every option against Light, against pretty much every player on this field seems bad just because they're so good at capitalizing and punishing your defensive choices. Here so. comes the bounce of fishes again that was for Kool-Aid. So beautiful. That was beautiful. His awareness is unfathomable. Yeah. It's nuts, man. Back throw. Yeah. Um, look at that. Look at how look how light gave up the pressure on Dark Wizzy, gave it up, and took the guaranteed kill and set up the throw. And that is just awareness. I mean, Fox and Sheik, so freaking fast. And you got two, yeah, man. those two guys controlling them, they're going to get some nice conversions. And I think that's what they were missing game one, even though light went off like crazy. Oh. Dude, light, he's, he's going to go off at least one or two games. You're just yeah. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> it just kind of happens, man. Like, sometimes you just kind of. So good to have to watch it again. Yeah, yeah. You, you just get in the zone sometimes, but. Oh, that was baby. pretty awesome. My hair is yeah. sick. Yeah. I love what headsets do so to black people. Oh, so, you can say the, so the green team wasn't harmonizing like we were earlier, but they eventually found, found the right oh, note. Yeah.